Hey everybody, in this tutorial we're going to talk about adding skin decals onto your character using the skin decal tool that comes with SkinGen Premium Plugin. Um, so we're going to get started right off the bat here. We have a character on the screen. I'm going to go to my content manager and under the skin section in the content manager you'll find a folder called SkinGen Tools. And under there you'll find a folder called Decal. And all you need to do is just click and drag this onto your character. Now what this will do is it will load up SkinGen. And it'll prompt us to choose a head body or whatever. Right now we have the head material selected, so let's just go ahead and apply that. And you'll see this cool looking, I'm not sure what it is actually, maybe it's Elven script or something, uh, appear right on the forehead of the character, so right where you can see it. And you can see over here in the uh, Modify tab under Appearance, you'll see the decal uh, layer right here, and a whole bunch of parameters under here. So let's go ahead and uh, kind of explore these parameters first. And then I'll talk about, uh, I'll show you a couple of uh, showcase examples and how we can apply those. So right down here we have a layer mask. We don't need to worry about that right now. By the way, you can press Control minus to minimize all of these uh, sections here to make things a little bit cleaner. Let's go to the texture settings first. You can see that in the texture uh, settings we have different maps. We have a base color map, which is basically just a script on a white background there. We have the opacity map, which shows uh, where we're going to have the opacity. Uh, the normal map here. Um, ambient occlusion, metallic, and roughness. Uh, all fairly simple. In this case, we don't have displacement or glow. So let's go down a little bit further and take a look at the transform parameters. So down here we have, you know, your basic transform parameters such as scale width. Uh, so if we scale, it'll be larger. You can uh, adjust the width like this, uh, adjust the height um, where it is on the uh, transform position. Uh, if you want to reset these, you can just simply double click each parameter name and it'll reset it back to uh, the default value. There's also offset, so if you want to offset it to uh, one side or the other, uh, you can use the X or Y axes right here. Again, you can just double click to restore, or you can just type in zero in the parameter field here. There's also rotation, okay, so you can, it'll rotate around a central axis, which is located in your character's head there. And uh, below that we have uh, bevel, so I'm gonna, for this I'm going to zoom in a little bit, so you need to see the, the bevel in more detail. And you can see that the uh, kind of uh, decal actually adopts the the skin wrinkles are the skin texture of the character. So for the bevel, if we expand it, uh, you can't see much happen right now because we have no strength. But if we increase the strength, suddenly we have this. So I can decrease the uh, uh, the, the bevel right here, the expansion of the bevel, and uh, increase the strength, make it look stronger or weaker like this. Um, if it's a real tattoo, it may be a little bit protruding from the skin slightly. So you may want to do that and just kind of soften it a little bit. Um, if it's very stiff right there, you can maybe just soften it so it blends in a little bit better. Okay, just a small little detail there. And uh, that's it for the uh, transform section. And below that we have the material section. So in the material section it's not too, nothing too crazy. Uh, there's a lot of sections here to look through but we're only going to cover a couple in this first example. The base color right here, you can choose the uh, opacity of that base color. So you can see the result right here. We can make it more like skin toned or more like the, uh, the darker tone right here. Um, for the color you can adjust the brightness. Uh, contrast, you know, your typical brightness, contrast, hue, saturation, sliders. All right, make it blue or whatever we want. And then we can just double click all the parameters to reset them back to the default values. And below that, there's the normal map. Okay, so the normal, you can increase or decrease the strength. You can see the result right there. Flatten it or protrude it a bit more. Uh, just be aware that uh, of the effects that the normal map has. Uh, below that we have ambient occlusion. Not going to have too much of an effect on this. Uh, very slight effect on the uh, on the, the lettering there. Minimize that and minimize normal there. Um, metallic and roughness. You know your basic metallic and roughness. You want more metallic. You can increase the strength of the metallic. Make it shinier. Make it brighter. You can even make it like a nice copper color like that. Um, see the light reflecting off that. So it looks almost like it's a metallic uh, script on top of our character's head there. Again, uh, depends on depending on the situation, you may want to make that strong. You may want to make it a bit weaker. Uh, below that is roughness. Okay, just the opposite. You can make it uh, more matte. Uh, less roughness will make it like slicker looking like this. Okay, so just be aware of the effect of roughness as well. Um, and below that is displacement. There's no displacement on this, and there's no glow map um, on the top. If you can recall, if we go up to the top, there's no displacement map, no glow map. All the other ones have values, parameters that we can adjust. Um, but below that we have the micronormal mask. Okay, this is kind of uh, a little bit important. If you zoom in really close here, you can see the strength of the micronormals. Uh, you'll see it blur and and uh, and strengthen just like this. You can you can also increase the strength and blur the strength there as well, uh, depending on the effect you want. And expansion will just make it stronger. 
Um, so you can, uh, you know, mess around with these effects. And uh, in combination, you can create a, a number of different uh, uh, effects uh, from that. Okay, so we'll just kind of leave it at normal there. And that's really the basics of the of the uh, skin decal tool. So what I'm going to show you next, I'm going to show you a couple of showcases on how you can apply that and make it look really cool. The first example is going to be a really cool looking tattoo. Okay, in this next example, we're going to apply a tattoo to our character's body. As you can see, we have the body material selected now. And uh, the tattoo I'm going to be applying to the character, you can actually find in the Realistic Human Skin Pack. If I go to my smart gallery here under uh, Realistic Human Skin, you'll find the... Uh, under skin, you'll find acquired and you'll find this heart with wings. Okay, you can simply just click and drag and apply that to your character and it will apply the layer. But if you have a custom tattoo design that you want, um, then you can also apply it that way as well. So let's go back to content and back to our decal tool and apply that to our character's body. And we're going to apply this time to the body. Okay, select apply. Okay, and there's our decal. So what we're going to do now is we're going to load in some custom maps here. And you can see that if we uh, zoom out, the uh, decal has applied to our character's chest. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace a couple of maps here. I'm going to just double click on the base color map. And I'm going to go to a custom uh, uh, folder here that I've uh, saved my stuff into. You see we have this tattoo folder here. And the base color map, I'm just going to simply apply this... Uh, Kind of cool tattoo. Now, because the opacity map is uh, the old one, we don't we don't see the entire design. So what I'm going to do is just uh, right click on that and delete this texture here. And once you do that, you can see the tattoo applies to the entire character's body. Looks pretty cool so far. But we're going to load in the uh, custom normal map as well. So uh, we're going to go back to that same folder there. Tool image, and there's our normal map. We can also apply the uh, roughness map here as well. So I'm just going to click and drag the roughness map to that uh, uh, template there, or texture channel there. And I'm going to apply the normal map, click and drag it over here. And so everything is applied correctly. Right? We just go ahead and uh, well, actually we should load this one in actually. That's okay. And uh, I'm just going to delete the metallic and the ambient occlusion. We don't need those. And here you go. So we have this cool looking uh, tattoo on our character's body, although it looks kind of fake right now because it's not really faded enough. So what we need to do is we need to adjust a couple of the other parameters here. So I'm going to twirl, uh, minimize all of these here. Uh, I'm just going to change the scale slightly. We're going to decrease the scale, maybe to something a little bit more manageable <laughs> in terms of tattoo size. And then we'll offset it to the side slightly up here and uh, bring it up on our character's uh, chest. So something like that I think would be would be kind of cool, just right under the, uh, the pectoral muscle there. Okay, but it still looks a little bit fake. We can maybe rotate it slightly as well, just maybe something like this. Uh, that was leave like that. Okay, anyway, so now we have the, the uh, bevel effect. We can uh, adjust that as well. So you saw the bevel previously. If we zoom in here, let's go ahead and uh, scale it down a slight bit more. There we go, something like that. And the bevel will uh, increase that strength and the expansion. Okay, so you can see the slight effect on the uh, edges of the, the bevel right there. Uh, soften it maybe a little bit. And uh, decrease that strength slightly. Okay, we don't want to make it too prominent, just a little uh, bit like that so you can see the uh, protrusions around the, the edges there. Okay, that looks fine to me. And then we can also adjust the opacity under the base color map here to just, just kind of decrease the opacity slightly. You know, tattoos generally are a slight bit faded after, after years. Um, so there's the opacity. Again, you can adjust the brightness and all this stuff, uh, contrast, um, the various values, that whatever you want. We're not going to mess around too much with those. There's the uh, normal strength there. Okay, you can see it protruding a little bit more when we increase the normal strength there. And in addition, on top, we have the blend mode set to normal right now. If we adjust this and we set set to multiply, the multiply actually has a better effect for things like tattoos. You can also increase or decrease the, the opacity up here as well, the overall opacity um, for tattoo fading. So that's one thing I'd recommend for tattoos, using the, uh, the multiply blend mode, because it just kind of looks a little bit better in, in the end. And then you can uh, refine the opacity from here as well. So you know, that might look a bit more like a, a real uh, tattoo on our character's body there. And if you want it to be some sort of like magic tattoo, you can also add a glow map in there as well. So let's go back up to our texture settings here. And uh, in texture settings, I'm just going to go ahead and double click in the glow channel. And we'll just add one of these defaults, maybe this desert sun uh, glow map here. And that'll create sort of a glowing effect on our character's tattoo, uh, which is pretty cool. And then you can go down here to the glow section. It's now enabled. We can increase or decrease the strength however much we want that tattoo to glow. You know, maybe it's some sort of magical tattoo. Again, brightness, uh, contrast, and uh, 
Q, um, all these values here, saturation, increase or decrease, uh, and so on and so forth. You kind of get the point there. Let's just take them all back down to default there. And uh, our strength can just be at uh, maybe something like that. We're going to get rid of the glow map anyways because it's not going to be a magical tattoo. So you can just right click on the, on the uh, channel there and delete texture. And now we go back to like a normal looking uh, tattoo right there. Okay, so that looks more like a tattoo would on, on our character. We can maybe even decrease the opacity slightly, something like that. There you go. I think that looks pretty good. Okay, in this case, we're going to create sort of a cool uh, Android type robotic effect just using texture maps and the uh, decal on our decal tool on our character's head. So let's, again, once again, let's go ahead and click and drag the uh, decal tool over. Make sure we have the head material selected and press apply. And then select our decal layer. And over here we have a number of different uh, texture maps. Uh, like I mentioned before, we can customize these with the SkinGen Premium plugin, SkinGen Premium version. The texture maps I'm going to be using in this example are done using Substance Painter. I'll make sure you're aware of that. And I'm just going to go ahead and uh, open up this uh, Explorer folder where I have all these materials already prepared. And the first thing I'm going to do is use the opacity map. So we're going to change the opacity map to this kind of cool design. And you can see here, this is the outline of our uh, of our character's uh, face. Let's just actually move this into the top here so we can uh, see the effect as we apply them one by one here. Um, so we have the opacity. Let's go ahead and load in our base color map now. So base color map, we'll load that in. This is going to be the cool uh, base of all the effects. You can see the kind of cool robotic shapes taking form now. And then we'll load in our metallic. So M to metallic there. And our N to normal. And finally our R to uh, roughness map there. And we'll just go ahead and delete the ambient occlusion map. We don't need that uh, right now. Go ahead and delete that. And we have one final map to add in there. And then we'll, we'll uh, tweak the effects. We have our glow map in this case. Okay, so this is going to create a really cool effect. We'll click and drag that into the glow channel. And there you can see it creates sort of a glow effect on certain parts of the, uh, the Android uh, outline there. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and uh, go down and tweak these. I uh, like to make sure we have everything minimized just to make sure that... Uh, uh, we're not going to mess around too much with the transform position. We don't want to adjust the transform position since we've already kind of um, made that perfect. Uh, what we can do is adjust the uh, the bevel. Again, so we zoom in a little closer. Let's take a look at what this does. We increase the strength there in the expansion. We'll see the effect right there. But in this case, we want the uh, this, especially the side part, to kind of look like it's kind of going into the character's uh, face to the skin as opposed to out. So we don't want any of this uh, bevel stuff uh, to extrude the uh, skin at all. Uh, we have the material base color. Again, we're not going to mess around with this since we already have all the colors adjusted there. But the normal map, we can increase or decrease that. And you can see the effect there. The normal, uh, you know, very, very apparent effect, especially on the robotics uh, up here on the forehead and on the side of the head. We want that normal effect to be quite strong, okay? Not too strong, maybe about 80% or 90%, but we want it to, you know, have a strong effect uh, in, in the end. Okay, so we'll we don't have any, any ambient occlusion. We have the metallic as well, so we can increase or decrease that metallic effect to make sh make it seem like the uh, well, the parts are more metallic, obviously. We increase that, it'll uh, exacerbate it even further. So if we have this and we rotate around, you can see the nice metallic gleam, especially on the neck there, okay? Um, so we want this to be, since they are robot parts, uh, obviously, we want them to be uh, fairly metallic. Uh, we don't want to have too much roughness. We can kind of decrease the roughness, but not too much. Still want to have a reasonable balance there, okay? Depending on the, the amount of gleam you want on your uh, metallic parts there. And we have no displacement, okay? Um, and finally, we have the glow. So we can increase or decrease the glow. You can see right there, pretty cool. We can have it, you know, um, strong or, or, or uh, turn, turn off the lights on the on the brain and <laughs> turn on the lights on the brain and uh, you get the point. But that's the pretty cool uh, way you can, you know, use the decal tool to create some really cool custom effects um, obviously this takes a little bit of work in Photoshop to create the correct uh, opacity map and, and, and base color channel, but everything else you can customize with glow maps and all that fun stuff. So it looks ends up looking really cool in the end like this, uh, like this Android character. And you can also go to Micro Normal Mask. I forgot about that one at the very end there, you know, if you want to really focus on certain parts of the character's, uh, you know, um, body right there, you can take that, turn that off or turn it on and, and uh, blur it a little bit. Um, expansion again uh, the various parameters will depend on the effect the sort of effect that you want in this case 
All right, but I think that's uh, all we're going to take care of uh, for this uh, for today's tutorial. So thanks so much for watching, everyone. Hopefully you learned a lot, and make sure you check out our uh, YouTube channel uh, from new videos every week and our forums over at forum.reillusion.com. And I'll see you in the next video.